Failure is not an option for the new Toyota Tacoma. This is critical for Toyota's truck division. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Real quick, if you haven't before, smash that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And that's right, failure is not an option for the new Toyota Tacoma, and it could be critical for Toyota's truck division. You know, right now, there's a lot of rumors and things out there. I just did a video recently myself about rumors and speculation and even the release date on the new Toyota Tacoma. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. Check it out. So anyway, what am I talking about? Well, I think it's a critical time for the Toyota Tacoma. You know, it's a little bit long in the tooth. Nothing wrong with it. It's an awesome truck. I love it. And I would argue that when it comes to looks, aesthetically, it's still relevant in today's market. I don't think Toyota really needs to do, to do a whole lot with the way that the truck looks. So it really comes down to what they do with everything else. The suspension, the power, the technology, all the things that we really use when we're out driving around in the truck. And of course, right now, the market is competitive. It's crazy. Everybody has jumped back in. They did that because, of course, the midsize truck market has really taken off. And Toyota is really the only one that stuck in there. And that, I think, is why they currently are number one, because they did stick it out. They did offer us a mid-sized truck, and not just a truck to kind of keep it out there. They offered us a good, quality, capable mid-sized truck. And I think people really appreciate that. I know I do. But now they're kind of at a crossroads. They have to do something because the competition is beating down the back door. They're trying to get in. Obviously, they want to take over that number one spot. They want a bigger piece of Toyota's pie. So it's a time when Toyota can't afford to fail with the new Toyota Tacoma. Kind of like I think they've done a little bit with the Tundra. Now, honestly, the Tundra is not a huge player in the full-size market anyway. They're probably number four, number five, who knows? I don't know exactly where they fall, but they're definitely not in the top three or top four. So it wasn't as big of a risk, still a risk, but not as big of a risk for Toyota to kind of play with things a little bit when it comes to the Tundra. Not so with the Tacoma. They don't have that luxury. They have to get it right from the gate, from the get-go. You know, I've seen a lot of people out there defecting from the Toyota Tundra to other things, even the Ford F-150. At least that's what people are telling me. So we don't want to see that happen with the Tacoma. So that means there are some things that they've got to do right, things that they've got to give us in order to keep us. Number one, they've got to maintain power. You know, you can't go backwards. I've heard rumors are that there is a hybrid 2.5 liter coming. It depends on what they do with it. They're gonna throw some electric motors in there. Is it going to be more powerful, have more torque, more low end, get up and go than what the current kind of slow Toyota Tacoma has? That would be a step in the right direction. And that would definitely be a positive. What about fuel economy? I mean, if they're going to throw a hybrid in there, we've got to see a substantial increase in fuel economy. I'm not talking about two or three or four miles per gallon in perfect conditions. And that's one thing that you kind of have to pay attention to. We've seen that a little bit with the Tundra. They came out with higher, I think it's like seven miles, eight miles per gallon, something like that, higher overall with the Toyota Tundra, but what people are really experiencing is a bit lower, two to three miles per gallon. That's because we don't drive it in perfect conditions on a flat road with no wind and no hills. So they have to get that right. I think they need to tone down the rhetoric a little bit too. You know, let's not over promise and under deliver. I think in this case with the Tacoma, it would be much better to go the other way kind of under promise a little bit, 
and then wow us when we get to put our hands on this new truck. That's a big mistake I think they made with the Tundra. They, they said it was going to be a mind-blowing truck, a world changer. It hasn't turned out to be that way for a number of reasons. You know, they've had some issues with it right out of the gate, uh, like the wastegate, like the fit and finish, like the uh, infotainment system, people not being able to figure out how to use it. That's another thing. The truck right now, the Toyota Tacoma, is pretty basic and pretty simple. Everything is really pretty intuitive. You can jump in, turn it on, push the button, switch the key, whichever you have, flick the radio on, and you kind of know how to use things already. They have to be careful with this new truck that they don't overcomplicate it. You know, it needs to be as simple, I think, as what the current Toyota Tacoma is. Now, the design. Uh, that's going to be key too. One of the first things I heard and I experienced myself about the Tundra, and I keep referring to the Tundra because rumor has it the new Tacoma is going to have a lot of Tundra-esque features, new Tundra features, but they need to make sure they keep it aesthetically pleasing, something that the new Tundra isn't. When I saw the new Tundra, my first thought on that was it looks squatty. The body lines look strange. It looks too low. And that's something I'm a bit concerned about with the Toyota Tacoma. They're going to use this new frame, right? They're, they've got this universal frame that they're going to build several different models on. But it's supposed to be lower. That means the truck itself is probably going to look lower. That's not a good look. I mean, if you take a look out there at what most people, or a lot of people, are doing with the Tacoma, they're lifting it. I did it myself. So it's obvious that most people, or the modding community, I, I can't say most people, but the modding community don't want trucks that are sitting on the ground. We want trucks that are higher up. If anything, I think they need to go with a standard out of the box model that's a bit higher. Nothing that's lower to the ground, certainly. Now, why do I say failure is not an option for the new Toyota Tacoma? I think it's their bread and butter in the truck market. It's what really gives them a strong foothold in the truck market. And I think if they lose that, they're going to have a problem when it comes to the truck division because I don't believe the Tundra is going to give them the gain to compensate for it. So they need to be very careful in what they're doing and pay attention to what you and I want. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Is this a key moment, a turning point for Toyota when it comes to their truck division, hinging on the success of the Tacoma? I'd be curious to know what you think. Leave a comment. Also, if you didn't in the beginning, make sure you click that notification bell and smash that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. I do have two additional channels, Rob Motive FST, all about full-size trucks, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.